Hello, in this demo we're going to show the implement of a complex SketchUp model into VCarve Pro and the creation of the toolpath for the parts. The model we're going to use is the Wiki Shed, which is a variation on the Wiki House created by Eric Schimpelfenig. Um, so if we open the model, we'll take a look at it. So this is a prefabricated um, building made up of many many parts and if we look inside we'll see the skeleton of it. So the idea of this is like the wiki house that the whole building is constructed without any, using any other fasteners and is all cut out on a CNC machine. There are a few extra pieces in here like the, the cat, the bricks underneath here and the corrugated roof and we'll show skipping those when we import them to VCAR Pro. So if we skip straight across to VCAR Pro we're going to create a new file we're going to specify the sheet size that we're going to be cutting all these parts out and that's going to be a standard 8 foot by 4 foot by 3 quarter inch sheet. So we hit OK and we go here to import vectors from a file and we're going to pick that exact model that we've just been looking at in SketchUp. I'll explain these in a later video but for now we're going to basically we're going to orientate all the parts flat we're going to orientate by default by the largest face but you can also override this inside the SketchUp model by selecting a particular material. In this case we've just selected front face, a gap between the parts. One of the clever things that the importer can do is find um, circles that have been represented by polygons inside SketchUp and also arcs and boundaries and refit these with true arcs. This section here deals with how we're going to um, handle the different components and um, how far apart we'll split the model but we'll skip over these for time being and over here we're not going to import the corrugated roofing because we're not going to CNC that and we're not going to import the entourage because we're not going to machine the cat and the bricks. Okay so the rest of it we'll just select and hit OK. So what the importer is doing now is finding all the parts, laying them all out flat and putting them into this regular grid. So as you can see here now, here is all the parts from that model all laid out in a rectangular grid. The next step now is to nest these into our actual sheet size for cutting. So we go to the nesting icon in VCarve Pro, specify our tool diameter of a quarter of an inch, which is what we'll cut out with, a small clearance around that. And if we just hit preview, the nesting engine will go away examine all these parts to try and uh, minimise the amount of material we're going to use for cutting them. So it'll take a few seconds, there's yeah, sort of a little bit of work to do here. And that's the nesting complete and in a second we'll see it all laid out on the sheets. So here we go, each one of these is laid out sheet as you can see we have 52 sheets of 8 foot by 4 foot material to cut the parts out of. Okay so the next step now will be to toolpath all these sheets but equally we also want to do some what we call dog boning to make sure the parts will fit together so we've written a specialist gadget here at Vectric for this I'm going to call this the dog bone toolpath creator again we'll go into more details on this um, in a later video so for the time being now we're going to hit OK and basically this is going through every single sheet and every single part and identifying sharp internal corners which will leave a radius with the cutter and putting in a dog bone move as so called so move the cutter into the corner just to overcut that corner slightly so that we can assemble the parts at the end and again we'll come back and look at this for now though we've created that for our 52 sheets the next part is to create the tool paths and again we have a gadget that does this and what this does is apply what we call a toolpath template so this is a predetermined set of toolpaths associated with a particular vector. Um, what we're also going to do is actually save all these toolpaths for each sheet. I'm going to use this post processor and VCAR Pro is a huge number of processors as you can see here. We'll leave it at the standard G code and it's going to output the, all the toolpaths to this folder here. So if we hit OK it's now going off and creating up to four toolpaths for each sheet and post-processing them for a GCO um, machine and saving those to our output folder which we'll show you in a few seconds. So here we go, this, this has created a report saying that for all 52 sheets we've calculated all the toolpaths. All of the toolpaths 
all the sorry, sheets sorry, have a layout called text which labels the parts and all of them have this profile cut out. Some of them have screw holes and some of them profiled and wedges, some don't. So the later ones don't tend to. But up here you'll see that you know, sort of for some of these earlier sheets we had screw holes, we had pegs and wedges to cut out. But they've all been saved into one single toolpath. Uh, and if we swap over to Explorer, we can see that in this folder here, our toolpath thing, we've created 52 toolpaths, one per sheet. If we have a look at that with Notepad++, you can see these are the G-code instructions for driving our CNC machine tool. So swapping back to VCarve Pro, if we look at the toolpath section, here are all the toolpaths that we've created for each sheet and saved out. So as you see, in a very short amount of time, with an extreme degree of automation, we've taken the SketchUp model, laid it out flat, nested it, and created all the toolpaths. Thank you for listening.